our last day in Warsaw and Emma's last day in Poland we're gonna try Bar Mleczny which is milk bar Mark's never had it um, it's a traditional Polish restaurant which during the communist time provided affordable meals which we need because we've spent all of our money <laughs> we're broke Subscribe, like, and share so YouTube can monetize me. Hurry up. Another night, I fall in your sight. Your new eyes cut sharp like a knife. So the idea of a bar mlechne is to provide, provide cheap affordable meals for the people. Um, it was heavily subsidized during the communist era, so, but now they've commercialized it and they're, they're very, very popular. They're very cheap. I mean, this all cost me uh, 10 Australian dollars and I've got pierogi coming as well. Emma, what did you get? I got, yes, and some pierogi are coming as well. How much did you pay for everything? 20 cores water, which is about $8. Wow. I love Poland, kurwa much. Mix in Poland are so hard. I love Poland, kurwa much. This is soup. What makes this good? Well, they're typically Ruskia, or we call them Ruskia. But no one calls them that. No, 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 no. So Bar Mlechnes, which is the milk bar, it was used to be pre predominantly uh, vegetarian meals and heavy in dairy because there was a scarcity in, um, in meat products during the communist era. Um, but now they've sort of evolved, you've got a lot of meat dishes, I had um, cabbage rolls, we had uh, dumplings, pierogi, um, Poland bichkas, kurczaka, chicken dish, soups, oh, very full and compote which is the um, fruit juice with it as well 10 bucks you can't you can't go wrong if you're in Warsaw or anywhere else in any major city they're everywhere just google bottom legend which is below there check your local description and they speak English and they're very friendly handy tip if you're in Poland and you're wanting to cross a road don't wait for the doo -doo 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 -doo. it just doesn't happen <laughs> Watch the signs. Pteka. Yeah, I think we've taken uh, the beeping traffic signs for granted in Australia. Like, there's 